Hi, I'm Lisa. And I'm Lauren. And together we've created the picture book Stories for Simon. When I heard Kevin Rudd's national apology to the Stolen Generations in February 2008, my eldest child was 18 months old and I tried to imagine what it would be like if a government official came into my home, removed my child and I had the real possibility of never seeing him again. And it made me think about the pain and suffering of those families. And, and Lauren and I have been friends for a very long time. And at the time of the National Apology, we were both, we'd recently become mothers. And so the emotional impact of the National Apology was very significant. And we felt as though we could empathise with the mothers. And so we had many conversations about what saying sorry actually means. And if there was anything that we could do to be part in some way of a healing process, so we, and we also noticed at that time that children were asking similar questions such as what happened to the stolen generations and, um, and how long do we have to be sorry for? And we came to the conclusion that our job as mothers was to teach our children about the stolen generations and to remind them that we all have a part to play in creating a harmonious and inclusive and respectful and positive society. So it was out of all these thoughts and questions that the idea for a picture book was born because we thought this would be the ideal vehicle for children and their parents or grandparents, teachers, carers to start to think about and to start to talk about some of these very big social issues. So I wrote the story and Lauren, who is a graphic designer and artist, created the beautiful illustrations. I have four children between the ages of five and twelve and it has been fascinating to see how they've each responded individually to the book. Um, they've each taken something different based on their ages and um, it also more importantly gave me the opportunity to have conversations with my children about the stolen generations and the national. Lisa and I also really wanted our children to know that we were donating our royalties to the GO Foundation, an amazing organisation that supports Indigenous education.